Attention is shifting, and Paul Flowers, who was the former chair of the Cooperative Bank, faces charges of fraud by abuse of power. And it's extraordinary. He's 73 years old. He's going to appear in front of Manchester Magistrates Court at the end of August. And a spokesperson for the Crown Prosecution Service has confirmed the charge uh, and that he faces one count of fraud between June 2016 and October 2017. So he's... uh, He's a committed Labour councillor. He's a Methodist minister. He left the co-op bank in the summer of 2013. So I'm not quite sure why he faces charges of fraud after he has stopped being the chair of the co-op bank. I, I don't quite understand the details, but clearly, clearly... uh there are serious rumblings going on. Remember, uh, Barclays' former chief executive, John Varley, was charged with fraud over his role in the bank's emergency cash call during the financial crisis, but he was acquitted. And the co-op's acquisition of Britannia Building Society in 2009 eventually led to its original owner, the co-op group, agreeing to a 700 million rescue deal in 2017, leaving it with 1% of shares. So there were also bad loans as well, a black hole that led to its near collapse in 2013. So the bank is now fully owned by private equity groups. The co-op, the co-op has become one of the few reliable um, high street banks and it made an offer, in fact, to acquire the TSB, which has completely disappeared from, from my town, uh, and uh, as has the Royal Bank of Scotland. And it, it's hugely inconvenient. So I don't know what's going on here, but I think it's interesting that the, the knives are drawn and you can't get away with things simply because you're a bank boss. Uh, bankers have got it coming. And bankers are making our lives difficult. So I think we're going to see more of this.